Welcome to the final workshop piece of Project 425, our Desmo restoration. This is a socially distanced piece of footage, look. Our little Ow. knuckle knock is within the uh, agreed limits that the government have set, whatever it is. It's the last day of workshop work for us on this bike. It's, I can't believe it's the 12th part. I can't believe it's taken us as long as it has, over a year, Dan. Uh, it's not emotional. I just still want to ride it. It just is such a cool thing for me to see this bike come together how it has. We're on the last knocking, so we're just putting the panels on, giving it a bit of a polish up. Touching um, up a few little bits and pieces. Yeah. Touching up a couple of key little bits. The one job that you've all been asking us to do the most, we've saved until today. We're still not quite sure how we're going to do it. We're just polishing the number plate, the one that says 425 of 1500 Desmo Sedici RRs. It is exciting. The sun's shining. You can probably hear some kids in the background shouting next door. They should be at school, but it is what it is. We're going to fire into this and, in fact, no, we're not going to fire into it. You're going to fire it up because I missed you starting it up last you time did, mate. because of the dreaded corona. So I'd love to hear it. It looks like the uh, subframe piece that you've put back on, that tail unit, is different to the one that we took off originally. Yeah, we've got all the standard bodywork that originally would have been off the bike. So it had track kit on before? It had a track kit on, which a couple of people pointed out. Yeah. Um, we've always had the genuine fairings for it. Yeah. And they're much prettier than what we thought. I love it. Um, so I'll put the rear tail unit on now. Yeah. Which is carbon as well. Which is all carbon, the whole lot is carbon. Yeah. It's so a real workshop, we've been saying it from the start. Dan's going to take that call, I'm going to have a look at what's going on with the bike. Sounds incredible. Happy? Oh my, I would have moaned. How about you? Yeah, it's just, it's just that's just made me want to ride it now, to be honest. I've heard it before, but John hasn't. So. No. Well, not for over a year. Yeah, over a year, yeah. It's been in a million bits since then. So yeah, I'm, I'm pleased that it's come. Yeah. So John, yeah. first drop for you, my friend. Hi, mate. You can do the honours of fitting the nose cone. And I'll side from the over here, mate. Is that right? Yeah, thanks, mate. Siri's getting involved. Siri's okay. trying to help. Oh, I'll just stick that back there. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's it, that clips so have you like twisted that. that fastener in now? I haven't, no. We'll do that in a sec. Yeah. I'll literally just bolt it from this side. There's yeah. just a couple of bolts that hold it on. Bolts, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. Look at it though. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So pretty now. It's um pretty much together now. Cool, innit? What do you reckon, mate? Beautiful. 
almost two years worth of work has gone into this. September 2018 was the first episode. I know, I can't believe it. When you said it, I was a little bit embarrassed, but I'm a busy boy. Yeah. I've got lots of other motorbikes to do. I'm not on it every day. Yeah, and some of those parts, we're, you know, we had to wait a long time for them long to come in. For. It's been a long old journey. I've been trying to think about the numbers. Everything from the volume mm. of pot noodles we've had to an episode, there's 26, I think. Hundreds of miles across to Germany and back to have the suspension refresh at Olin's. Thousands of pounds in parts. Yeah. You know, aside from 45 and 1500, the numbers on this bike are just mind-boggling for me. I don't reckon anyone's ever done one. No, and I, I'd like to think that this was probably not the worst condition, but I, I'd hope that there aren't too many out there that, no. that got to the state that this was in when we rescued it. Yeah. And look at it now. I feel privileged to, uh, to work on one. I never thought I'd ever work on one in the years of working on motorbikes. Yeah, yeah. When I first picked the spanner up. And it, I guess, where does it go from here? They're short of getting um, <coughs> a full spec MotoGP bike on that bench. You know, it's probably the most exclusive bike you'll ever get to work on. Yeah. And look at it. It's still pretty after all these years. Anywhere around this workshop, you look at it and it is just so pretty. And at any angle. Yeah, it's a, it's, um, it's a timeless shape, I think. Yeah. But we, we were chatting earlier about, about why it's so easy to stand and lose five minutes just staring at the thing. And we've decided that it's, it's the fact that Ducati hasn't tried to update it. There's no evolution of the design of this bike. It will always just be this one single shape that people picture when they think of Desmos. Yeah. Pretty much the same as a, an old Rolex Submariner from the 60s looks exactly the same as one from now. The, the design hasn't evolved, it's just stayed exactly as it yeah. was, yeah. which is why I still love just staring at this bike, like we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start it and you get, you get that same, without getting all fluffy and, and emotional, you get the same enjoyment from hearing it as you do from just looking at it. Yeah. And then obviously the next stage is to ride it, but it's mega. Is a beauty. Yeah. I think now will be a great time to have a look at a little bit of a, um, a montage of the journey. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be a few funny bits in there, but again, everything that we've discussed, that preciousness, it'll probably come across in the next few minutes while people watch little bits of the best and worst of Project 425. Let's take a look. I think you're gonna like this one. Ta-da! It's a Desmo. So first things first then, what are we gonna do? We're gonna take his clothes off. Uh, and see what we're working with, really. I, I don't even think you need to squint to be able to see the bloodline with the bike that Lorenzo and Davizioso are riding this year, where that comes up and cuts away like that. To so come on in, John, what have you been up to? Well, I genuinely have been busy, mate. Again, in true fat man from Wheeler Dealer style. Yeah, right. I've been doing a little bit of research. Take a look at this. Dan. Just uh, make it look like this, please. There's a good lad. Thanks very much. Cheers. Okay. How you getting on, mate? All right? Yeah, I'm winning, mate. How's your biscuit? Good? I'm busy up here. Just drum that is all over. You ready? Yep. Ryan Reynolds garage. <laughs> we need the Danny Dyer spec tools. <laughs> yeah, thanks for all the comments, by the way. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> we good? Yeah. And I actually wipes nothing. Cause it there really is nothing there. <laughs> Yikes. Busy out there, John. Yeah, mate. Just texting my old mate John McGuinness. He follows the project. 
He's oh, out yeah. racing Birdie's Ducati at the minute. Good you know John McGuinness? Oh yeah, he wrote his book, didn't he? Oh. I forget, mate. <laughs> Available, all good bookstores. John McGuinness's book. How many times bestseller, no less? He does care though, look. Hey, no, it's cool. Go on, John. <laughs> look at me, Mum. Working on a Desmo. <laughs> Turns out that's how you get a rusty old chain. That's how I do it anyway. <laughs> Just ran for the bit. That felt like it was going to snap the bar then. <laughs> it's a snap on ratchet, mate. Snap it on ratchet. It's a snap in there. Don't want to be dinging them wheels, do we? You sure don't. Yeah, as suspected, since we've been messing around doing the valve clearances, I haven't taken anything water side off of the yeah. rear of this cylinder. But as you can clearly see here, there's a puddle of watery coolant. And just in this gap underneath here, oh, yeah, yeah. you can see a big corrosion sign on the head gasket. Yep. So a fairly major discovery towards the end of part five. Uh, and kind of our loss is the viewers game we've added at least another couple of episodes to this now because of the issue with the head gasket um, Dan's fairly buoyant because he does this all the time I feel like it's the end of the world really I can't imagine there are going to be many places that have got a gasket set for a Desmo <laughs> knocking around let's get on the phone I'm sure we'll find some have you got your passport with you uh, yeah well I've got mine let's cut to a comedy Montage road trip. Let's go. Let's do this. Mate, John, you do know, man. Yes, I do. Let's go and see if he's at home. I'm in Zolins. There is cool stuff literally everywhere. I don't know what those things are up there. They look like some kind of MotoGP development, something, something. What are they? Uh, no, mate, there are Christmas tree decorations. <laughs> Dick. Now we're going to pour out the oil from the fork to have a first impression of what we're working with. As you can see, this is already pretty yellow. Normally, this oil is more more clear, it's close to water. So, now bang on the clicks, preload like we have on the spec card, mm -hmm. and then the fog is finished. Perfect. Mate, what do you do when you're at the Nürburgring and the Olin shop's closed for the day and you've got nothing to do, but the car you've got has got 300 horsepower? The folks are done, so it'd be rude not to. Let's go and have a little laugh. Let's. Very exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one in Triple F and Vida. Oh, that's so kind of you. Uh, Torsten, thanks very much, man. Thanks Good for being here. Thanks. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Something for the midday, yeah? So we, uh, yeah, right. something for lunch. Daniel? Yes, John. New van? New van, mate. Been away in it. Got you a little present. Fantastic, mate. I that's... got you a present. Oh, nice. We tried. Pleasure doing business. You good? I did say that I've done all the hard work already, so you're welcome. Mate, you're a legend. Oh yeah, of course I can explain what Desmo Sedici means, Dan. Oh, what's that, Dan? You want me to explain what Desmo Sedici actually means? You probably missed Dan asking that. So if you break it down into two halves, Desmo is the shortened version of Desmodromic, which is uh, a set of valves that are mechanically opened and mechanically closed.
gold. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was fucking gold and you ruined it. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be alright putting all those things back where they belong? As long as you don't touch it. What are you trying to say? I've got this. We are back. Well, I'm back. It's been a couple of months since I've been to Dan's workshop. Had a call from him yesterday. He told me to get my ass down here and bring something to celebrate with. Some pot noodles to celebrate with. I'm not entirely sure what we're celebrating. There's a good chance I'm going to go in there and see a completely rebuilt Desmo so that I can stick my kit on, head off for a ride. I'm guessing it's probably not quite ready yet. I'm hoping for you guys it's not quite ready yet because I know there's still lots for us to show you with the bike. I'm going to head in there, see what Dan's got to say, see where we're at. Daniel? Hi, Joel. You've done some work, mate. Cheers, mate. Look at it. Looks completely different, doesn't it? Yeah, you've managed. Oh, you managed to put the new wings on it. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Look at oh. our hilarious jokes about oh. this beautiful V4R. Beautiful, isn't it? Tell me to bring some celebratory pot noodles. Good there, there, mate. Uh, what exactly are we celebrating? What's going on? Well, we've finally got some bits for this Desmo now. Shiny stuff, Dan. Shiny stuff. So we've got basically everything that we need now. So head gaskets, the head's been skimmed. So, got, so these have been done and skimmed? They've already been skimmed. Okay. Sh show you. Just what we're here. Ooh, nice shiny. and shiny. Yeah. So what? S 16 oil seals, two head gaskets, probably best part of 700 quid, seven, 800 quid. Found the use of that head gasket. Ping. Winglets. Winglets on the front. I don't even, I don't even want to guess how much they cost. Workshops. PPI. <laughs> PPI. What do they want their Desmo story? <laughs> Just wish you didn't find like these selfies that Dan's been taking. I don't, Dan, I don't know what you're up to in this one. What's going on there, mate? <laughs> Sexy Deadpool. Was it? <laughs> this is painful. Come man. on. <laughs> Come on, Dan. Stick with me. I feel. I feel like more of a man. I don't know if it, I didn't think it was possible to feel like more of a man, but here I am. That's a fucking pretty big flame, Daniel. What's going on there? <laughs> Dan, fluff, the fluffy bit is over. We've had, yeah. we've had a chat about the emotion. I've tried not to let on just how bad this pot noodle tastes. <laughs> I love smells. It's the first time I've strayed from the green ones. I won't be going here again. It's workshop food. It's just uh, not used to it. Barbecue pulled pork. They didn't sponsor us, as you can tell, because this tastes like <laughs> shit. Um, there's only one thing left to do with this bike, really, mate, and we've got to go and ride it. Let's do it. There was a plan. We did have a plan originally to go to... A Bridgestone test track in Italy <clears throat> with a couple of Desmo owners. Coronavirus is the perfect excuse, but also, you know, it's absolutely scuppered us. Yeah. Clearly that can't happen. Um, but I would love to just hear it doing more than ticking over on the side step. Definitely, we're going to ride it. 